Okay, we're back live here at Stanford University. It's the Alumni Center. What a great day. Stanford, love this place. Um, a lot of brilliant minds here. And this is the Stanford XL 17th Annual Symposium called XL Enterprise. That's the hashtag. Follow us on Twitter. I'm here with Jeff Kelly. This is Silicon Angles. Exclusive coverage. This is the Cube. Our flagship program we go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. And our next guest is Amanda Richardson, the head of product at Prezi. Welcome to the Cube. Thank you. Awesome. Glad so, to be here. Really an amazing event. Obviously, a lot of big minds here, and we're also live in San Francisco at the AWS Summit, where all the developers are geeking out with Amazon and all the new <laughs> tools. Um, you're the head of product for Prezi. So tell us what is Prezi, and tell us what you're doing here. So Prezi is a collaborative uh, presentation tool, so we look forward to uh, helping our users create ideas, share ideas, and really uh, have a platform for uh, putting their messages out there and, and uh, better sharing with the audiences. So we're here because we love Excel. I'm here because I'm a GSB alum, and any reason to get back to the farm is a good one. And um, we just think it's a great place to meet people, peers, and share ideas, and hopefully learn from each other's mistakes. So what do you think of the new business school? It's <laughs> pretty impressive, isn't it? So I graduated before the new business school. It's yeah, pretty yeah. awesome, but yeah. um, I'm a little, I kind of want to go back. I was yeah. joking with my husband this morning. I think it may be time for a PhD. Yeah, Stanford's a great school. But as a head of product, you get you, you still get to geek out yep. and look at also the market side. You got to look into engineering, also look into the product. So in this whole enterprise 2.0 thing that just never happened, it's still happening. It's like going and going. But now with the cloud with mobile, it's yep. all happening, right? So right. you got that cloud mobile and social thing going on. We've been covering since 09, it's looking at angle. What are you seeing now as the market drivers for those two forces, cloud and mobile? And is it social, is all that coming together? Um, it, it is all coming together, and I think, you know, we call it like the consumerization of enterprise, right? So, um, people have one phone, one device, one presence. I think five years ago, you probably tried to keep your world separated between your enterprise professional life and your personal life, and now it really all comes together. So, you've got to solve the problems for the enterprise users in the same way you solve problems for consumers, right? What are their big needs? What are their pain points? Where do they find value? Uh, focus on those areas and make it easy to use. And um, I think that's what's finally accelerating um, and bringing really cool, sexy problems to the enterprise users. Uh, you just bring a consumer approach. What are the biggest barriers that you see in, in that adoption? Obviously, consumerization of IT, consumerization of the enterprise, has been talked about for right. many, many years. Right. And finally, we're seeing a, a ray of hope. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think it's a wave. It may, it's, it's, the light at the a, end of the tunnel may be a train. It's <laughs> sunrise effect. Right. So, it's there, and you it's get there. Clouds. So, what are the key drivers that are helping this go faster now versus the you know, years before? Right. Like, oh yeah, it's next year. It's next year. Um, so, I, th I think mobile is actually a great point. So, um, you can't keep pieces like Evernote, Dropbox, Prezi out of your users' hands. Um, I mean, I remember being in meetings, with management meetings, five, seven years ago, talking about how we were going to ban Facebook, and that just seems quaint now because it's all on your phone and you can't tell people not to bring their phones to work. So I think um, mobile's had a huge impact in getting more of these products and tools into the hands of the consumers and out of really this kind of big brother control type situation. Um, the other thing I think that's happening is just um, worlds are blending together and, and the availability of, of uh, tools on the internet. It sounds silly to say, but you know, you can remember five, ten years ago you couldn't access your Perhaps it's an ERP program, or perhaps it's even productivity tools from home. Um, there was a time when we all had to remote in. I don't know. <laughs> and, 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 all, VPNs yeah. and all kinds of. I mean, I'm, I'm dating myself and showing why I color my hair, but um, <laughs> it really is, uh, you know, the world is changing. And I think, thank goodness for the internet, thank goodness for the web, and thank goodness for mobile. Well, it's interesting you mentioned the together. dating ourselves. I mean, first of all, you look fabulous. And, oh, thank you, know, you. you know, we're old. I mean, I'm old. I know how old I am. And we just had the 27 year old kid on from Dropbox, so, you know, that's young. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a lot of senior folks now, this enterprise market as it's shifting from mm -hmm. consumer, you're seeing some of the leaders are those experienced managers because they've lived through the right. client server, they've lived through the that first wave. So is that just because we're more there's more people that know that market more? I mean is it you're seeing a lot more companies that are not it's not the twenty something, it's the you know, over thirty five, <laughs> over forty. Yeah, so um, no comment on age, but um, <laughs> the uh, I think 
what, what excites me about the space, I can just talk about myself, is you know I have a consumer background. So it was super fun to be in consumer five, ten years ago when you know internet was taking off. You finally have a platform on which you have millions of users to test and learn and grow. Um, and now that you can apply that to enterprise, I mean, I think it's new challenges but similar challenges. Um, and I, I, I really think one of the more interesting things is that it's actually solving really compelling problems. One of the, you know, um, I think there are a lot of opportunities out there around photo sharing and um, geolocation and, 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 you know, putting together your social graph. But, um, you know, where I find passion and energy is actually providing value and solving problems and really being a key part of someone's, someone's life. Um, so that's what gets me here. I, I hope that keeps others here. Uh, so let's talk about you know solving really interesting problems. Yeah. What is the I mean what is your why? What is Prezi all about? Why are you doing what you're doing? Is it uh, simply uh, you know we've talked we, we hear a lot about the concerns around PowerPoint and right. death by a PowerPoint slide and that kind of thing. Is that really uh, <laughs> the issue you you set out to overcome? Or tell us a little bit about what you do and why you do it. So um, we certainly get compared to PowerPoint a lot, but where we, uh, the problem we really like to solve um, on, on a more grand scale is that we believe ideas are um, best shared and best collaborated about. So if you think of ideas like genes, they can come together, they can be built on each other. Um, a great example of Prezi use is there was an organization in Syria, rebel organization that used Prezi to really be the platform to explain their ideas and what the issues really were in a quick, meaningful, impactful way. Um, I think having a platform by which you can share ideas and better understand each other can apply to um, making the world a better place, but can also apply to helping scientists share their information around the globe, um, building on ideas. And I know even within Prezi, we use the tool to um, better communicate product roadmaps to engineering so that we can better align. Um, I think it's all about communication, um, helping ideas grow faster, and um, helping the world to be um, a more understanding place. I mean, it's a little peace, love, and happiness, but it is it is why we get out of bed every morning. We really think Prezi is a great tool for people to be the platform for them to share their ideas and, and evolve. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually a Prezi user. I've, uh, awesome. been, I've started using it recently. I'm actually, I downloaded, you can see here, I've got the, the oh, icon, yeah. I downloaded the desktop version. I was yeah. working on the plane as I was coming out here from Boston. Um, but, uh, you know, it's certainly a very interesting platform. It's very different from PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. um, it certainly creates much, a much more compelling type of way to present information. Uh, what are some of the design principles as head of product? What are some of the things that you that are really um, kind of core to your uh, philosophy in terms of designing and, and implementing, uh, or I should say, creating the kind of user interface and, and the way people interact with information? Yeah, so I'm really proud of Prezi. Um, the co-founders have really uh, doubled down, if you will, on our design efforts. So we have a full-time user research staff, we have a full-time data research staff, we have a full-time design staff all three different roles, all three big teams, um, really focused on understanding our users. So we solve for key user problems in terms of design principles specifically that we focus on. Um, we like to uh, help users um, understand structure of their ideas. So one of the challenges of Prezi, for those who come from a PowerPoint model, is everything should be linear. And um, one of our principles is that not all ideas are linear. There may be areas where we can zoom into different pieces. So helping to communicate that, that is particularly important for us and how to provide simple structure. Um, I think the other idea is uh, helping to make it beautiful. We believe that words are a better way, or excuse me, picture are a better way to communicate than words. Um, you know, death by bullet point <laughs> is, is, is a common that, yeah. affliction. Um, so how can you uh, say something with a picture that would have taken a hundred words? And that's what we try to do. So, you know, your product is both kind of a software as a service, but also mm -hmm. you can download the desktop version, like right. I mentioned. Um, but, you know, with the software as a service model, you're able, I assume, to collect data on the way people are using your product. Right. Um, how does kind of that type of information, do you incorporate that into the design process and uh, making changes to the product? Uh, kind of talk about how you use data and analysis to really inform Absolutely. your product design. Yeah, so, you know, I, I believe the role of product managers to understand the user intimately, have a point of view and a strategy, but then really validate through data. So um, 
Not to creep you out, we do have data about your desktop usage as well. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I cover big data for Wikibon. I have no problem with, uh, with that myself. So we focus a lot on what our users do, what makes them successful. Um, we try to have like, measurable outcomes for all of our uh, initiatives, whether it's user behavior or defining what a good Prezi is or, or really helping users to solve their problems. We use data to... Um, on the small level optimize and on a big level really define an objective and a goal. So how can we really push things um, through the funnel to get to the user to their success point, which we measure as giving a presentation. So both find kind of tactical issues, but yep. also def uh, kind of uh, inform your larger uh, philosophy. Right, yeah, our big company KPIs are all based on data. Okay, Amanda, thanks for coming on the queue. We've got a break. We've got our next guest coming in, lining up. All of the crowd's going to be breaking up. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of the Stanford Excel 17th Annual Symposium. Hashtag Excel Enterprise, where Excel's uh, doing a lot of great work in the enterprise. This is the Cube, Silicon Angle's coverage of Stanford Excel Symposium. We're right back with our next guest after the short break.